Yo, dog, you ready to get hit with the base cannon? What's up, guys? It's Parallax Abstraction, and welcome to PXA Peaks at Arrow. I'm a little bit late to the party on this one. This game came out a couple of months ago, but it got lost in my couple of months worth of life chaos. This is on my, my backlog of stuff to cover, and I'm actually looking forward to this because, well, it's a rhythm game, and you don't necessarily see a ton of these these days, and this one's pretty cool. It actually is very polished and has a very cool style for a game developed by such a small team. This comes to us from a small team called Mad Fellows, which is only three people and started out as two people, which is pretty darn impressive. And yeah, it's a rhythm game shmup, kind of, but not really. It's pretty neat. It's a relatively small package, but it's also fairly inexpensive. And it has a really neat style and really neat control mechanics to it. So this is on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. But interestingly enough, if you're going to play this on PC, you have to use a controller. You cannot use the keyboard and mouse. I originally kind of went, that ah, seems a little bit lazy. But when you start seeing how this game is played, you're going to understand why that is. So there are three different difficulty levels on this. It is all the same songs. They just go up in difficulty. The soundtrack for this game is almost entirely dubstep. Now, I am i kind of got over dubstep, but I still don't mind it. If you really dislike dubstep, then you're probably not going to enjoy this game. But I actually think the soundtrack fits very well to the gameplay style. So yeah, there's three different levels that you unlock as you go. I'm just going to start on normal here, which I have played and almost perfected. Uh, but uh, just to, to show you it here. But um, yeah, let's dive into this thing. It's uh, at its core, it's a relatively straightforward score attack game, but it has a really unique way it goes. Uh, it it goes about things, and well. It starts, if it's a game around dubstep, you know it's got to start with this song, so let's just go into it. You know they had to, right? Oh, yes. So, yeah, the entire soundtrack in this game is licensed. It is generally from smaller electronic musicians. Uh, it is very, very heavy, heavy dubstep. But, uh, you know, I, I still enjoy good dubstep, and there's a couple of other songs in this that are a little less dubstep uh, that I really like as well. And it's this game is kind of a, uh, a, a traditional rhythm game with a little bit of shmup elements in it. So there's sort of two different elements to this. The first type of gameplay element that you're seeing right here is this, uh, you're riding this line, which they refer to as the ribbon. So I'm controlling my ship here with the left analog stick. And the idea is that you not only want to ride this line, you don't you want to ride as close to it as you can. So you can be touching the line and still have it count, but if you're dead center, your score is going to get higher and your multiplier is going to go up faster. If you miss the line for too long, your multiplier will significantly drop, but you can miss it for a little bit here and there. So you don't have to be 100% perfect for this to count. There's also sort of little rhythm-based shmup elements that you're going to see shortly here where enemies will show up and it gets a little sort of Panzer Dragoon is the way I could put it. It's less of a shmup and more of a Panzer Dragoon style game. You'll see what I mean here. Uh, this normal difficulty up until the last couple of levels is relatively straightforward. So here's an example right here. So you control your targeting reticle with the right analog stick and your goal is to line the enemies up and you press the right trigger to fire your gun. Those little red things you're going to see throughout the level as well, those are secrets. And you just get, they just help improve your score and uh, your level rating if you can find them all or at least the majority of them. Some of them are very cleverly hidden, some of them are very obvious. A lot of them you won't find them. See, see like that one there? I missed it because it came up on me very, very quickly there. Some of them are very hard to notice your first time through a level. See, there's a couple up there. All right, there we go. So, yeah, you'll see them. You won't necessarily see them your first time through a level, but this is a game that, it, it, like most rhythm games, it very much encourages replayability because it's all about score attack, which is what I really like about it. So it's about getting a higher placement on the leaderboards, and it's also just about getting a, a, a higher rating as well. You're star rated on every level, and you're also rated on how much of the secrets that you find. Progression in this is gated, which is something I'm not really a fan of. So here's a neat little combination where you have both of these things. In later difficulty levels, you will see 
this, well, I'll show you some of the advanced play later, but this stuff gets way more complicated later on. You're going to have to juggle a lot of different waves of enemies while paying attention to riding the ribbon. And it actually gets, it kind of stresses your brain a little bit because you're multitasking two very different kinds of gameplay types at once. And it can get a little mind bendy, but we'll get there. And in addition to that, most of those enemies do have the ability to fire things at you if you don't take them out quick enough. And if you get hit by their projectiles, you'll see there's a little shield icon there in the upper left. So you can take three hits. Um, taking a hit will severely damage your multiplier and also take you out of play for a little while. So it can definitely... Getting a hit is very bad for your score. And if you take three hits, it's game over and you got to start the level over again. So there we go. We're at the end of this guy here. And that's it. So there's no story in this game. You're just flying through these different worlds. There's no random generation or anything like that. All of these worlds are crafted. So it is It is somewhat linear. You're, there's no real story. You're this ship on this planet taking out enemies for some reason. Every level is quite a bit different in terms of its design and the, the music that it has. So this is Pure Sunlight, which is a song I've actually been listening to outside of the game fairly regularly, actually. This is the least dubstepy track. Uh, and I quite enjoy it. I got to learn uh, about Mr. Fiji Ouija as well as Laura Bren, uh, which are two very cool electronic artists, actually. So, you see, this one starts you out with the enemies, specifically. So, yeah, I'm going to say this, this normal level is pretty easy. Progression is gated by the number of stars that you have. And that... In most games, that bugs me. I don't like games that artificially get your progression based on like, oh, you didn't do well enough in this in these last few levels, so I hope you enjoy doing them over and over and over again until you get better at it. But this game doesn't seem to be pretty punishing on that front. Uh, even I, I never had to replay a song to unlock every song on the normal difficulty. Now, been, I've been playing Advanced, which has not been as hard as I expected, but only because I played so much of the normal level. Advanced is definitely more tricky. Now, you see, just trying to multitask those two secrets there while riding the ribbon kind of screwed me up. Uh, so I suspect later on, though, especially when you get to the Master difficulty, uh, which I believe requires 100... Uh, actually, I, I think unlocking Master level requires 100%ing the other two levels, so that's probably where it's going to get a little difficult. So you see in here, you're not actually getting scored for this, but now in concert with the rhythm here, you're trying to avoid this, and in later levels, you'll be fighting enemies while you do this, too. So yeah, every every song in this is its own special level. There are uh, there are a couple of bosses in this as well, and the bosses are a little underwhelming. They are reasonably challenging, but the weird part is is that you can finish the level without taking them out. Now you'll get a lousy rating, and there are achievements for taking not just finishing the boss levels, but for taking out the bosses themselves. But yeah, you don't you still don't have to beat them to finish the level, which seems a little strange to me, but uh, I guess it, it would be hard to do that, to, to get to the end of the level and just, you know, and w to get to the, le the end of the level having not beaten the boss and have it just be like, well, you're done. So, I'm not sure. I feel like that could have been maybe handled a little bit better, though. But yeah, I... Th this is sort of the core of it here. I'll show you how much more complicated it gets by playing an advanced song after this. Uh, but... I, I actually have been kind of impressed with this. It's not a very long game, at least if you don't really want to try for perfection on every song or just want to play the normal difficulty. I beat it in like maybe an hour, maybe a little more than that. Uh, but it's only $15 US. And uh, the mechanics are maybe not necessarily as complicated as some of the harmonics games. You know, this is certainly not like Rock Band or Guitar Hero or something like that, or even... Um, uh, something like Amplitude, uh, the uh, or something like that that Harmonics made. I but I find this a little bit more interesting. I I like rhythm games a lot, and there not only aren't a lot of rhythm games, there are not that many that are necessarily all that interesting. But I've never played a rhythm game that has the style of mechanic this does, and kind of blends a Panzer Dragoon style game with a you know a, a fairly challenging. Uh, a fairly challenging rhythm mechanic, which I, I've actually been enjoying quite a bit. This has been um, 
I like the fact that it's not necessarily, it's not trying to have an incredibly deep system. You know, you, you've seen the core mechanics here. They obviously get more complicated, but from a base design perspective, it's not very involved compared to some other rhythm games. But I kind of like the simplicity of the, the general mechanical design, and I, I like the environments. I think this sort of elements of like Tron combined with flat shading actually looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I, th I think it's enjoyable for sure. And uh, it does some pretty pretty interesting stuff here. So, all right, let's go up to advanced here. So there there is uh, there is also what's called the chill out mode, which is literally just you play through a level with, as you can see, with no penalty, though it looks like you can still go after secrets, which is kind of cool. Uh, so let's pick advanced and let's go to a later level. I believe I, no, I don't know if I did flame out of these ones, let's see. All right. Yeah, this one gets crazy. So this is just advanced, remember. This is not expert. So you see this guy sort of shooting a little projectile at you? Now, your uh, ultimate goal that you want to do is to take it out. Shoot, see, I got hit there. If you can't take it out, uh, it is possible to dodge it, though it's not easy. All right, I got him there. So you see here we've got these little waves of little enemies that are coming in that you kind of want to try to time so that you take them all out as quick as you can. All right, watch this. So you see you get these really much more complicated circular patterns. There's another song that has you sort of going back and forth in a rapid wave fashion. And honestly, trying to do some of these more complicated speedy patterns while also trying to manage the enemies on the screen who will do damage to you if you're not careful. It's very much a left brain, right brain kind of thing. It's actually, like, I'm I'm not the best multitasker in the world, but I'm some, oh god, yeah, and these rhythm, those, those, like, compressor things are brutal, because you can only get through one, one place with them. So you have to go through where the green ones are, there we go. But you see how just crazy this is getting here, and how hard it is to keep up. So those secrets almost, the, the interesting thing about those secrets as well is that the secrets uh, will always appear generally on a beat. So if you want to keep your eye open for secrets, you generally want to watch for one that comes on a downbeat because that's usually where they will where they will tend to show up. But yeah, it, it, having to ride the line while also doing enemy management is actually kind of a, a, a very much a left brain right thing thing. It, you're, you're trying to do two very distinctive different kinds of things at once and you'll find your yourself like, really gripping the controller really hard because you're really trying to concentrate and you'll you'll actually feel your brain like really getting a workout uh in a way that i've never gotten from even a lot of rhythm games like i i played a lot of very tough rhythm games you know like the elite beat agent series and things like that but i've never played or or even uh rhythm heaven or games like that those those can get very complicated as well but they don't tend to have you multitasking multiple types of gameplay mechanics at this exact same time the way this one does and that's what i find cool about it the normal difficulty you're really probably not going to find that difficult and the thing is you're gonna this is why i say that if you really don't like dubstep you won't like this because you're going to be listening to these songs a lot because if you want to if you want to get through all the different difficulty modes you're going to be playing the same songs over and over again just on the different modes forget if you fail out of them and have to retry Okay, I got those right. But also, if you just want to get better leaderboard placement or get 100% completion, which to get to some of the really higher difficulties, I believe you have to do, you're going to be playing this, you're going to be playing a lot of the same songs a lot. And probably the only song in this whole game I would really listen to on my own in the car would have been that Pure Sunlight song that you were listening to there before. But I think these songs are very good as well in terms of the, I think they suit the gameplay very well. Yeah, I see I only got two stars there. But yeah, they suit the gameplay very well and they suit the uh, mechanics well. And I think they lend a very good, strong sense of energy and drive to the levels, which is really kind of, oh, I missed a secret right off the cuff there. So you wanna see things get a little crazier. You see how fast you have to do this? Now picture doing this while managing a bunch of enemies too, which is probably going to happen soon. Yep. 
And I, I can't, I can only imagine on the master difficulty what this is gonna get like. It's just, oh god, this just hurts my head. But it does, it does it in a good way. Like it's a game that actually gives you a real mental workout, and I think that's very cool. And yeah, like I said, I even if you're not really a fan of dubstep, I think like dubstep is designed to really juice you up, right, and get you feeling a, a really strong energy, and that's really what you want in a game like this. And I think. They design. They clearly designed this game around the type of music that uh, that they got for it, and I think it it's. I think it fits. I think I think it suits it very well. You could have done this with a number of other types of electronica too, I suppose, but like the repetitive, like the simp uh, the simplistic repetitive beats that often are the case in dubstep, I think are fitting to this because of like the, the the line riding gameplay and things like that like i don't know if you could have done that with a more regular like edm track i i think it might it would have been harder to, to structure that together um whereas dubstep you know it's fairly repetitive the beats are not necessarily they don't vary that much they're not ultra complicated but it yeah it, it's it's it suits what it is i think and uh yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of fun with this, to be honest. This game has been out for a couple of months, and at least based on the Steam Spy data, it looks like it hasn't sold very well, which is kind of surprising because the rhythm genre is not necessarily the most popular one in the world, but its fan base is, is very devoted. Uh, maybe this did better on consoles, I don't know. But it, it, uh, it, 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 its fan base is very devoted, and yeah, it, Rhythm games are much like shmups for me in that it's a genre I'm frankly not that good at, but that I still really enjoy in spite of the fact that I'm not really, uh, I can't really play them at a high level. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. Over time, I probably will attempt to beat this or, or to at least unlock the master mode. I could see it me having to poke at this, you know, quite a bit over a fairly long period of time, dang it, uh, in order to make it, uh, in order to pull it off. But. I think I'd like to try. It's uh, it's cool. It's not trying to be an overly complicated rhythm game. You know, this isn't trying. This this it is trying to reinvent the genre in its own way. But it's not trying to be super complicated. It's not blending a bunch of different genres of music. It doesn't have a uh, a super humongous soundtrack, though. It is you know it is a fully licensed one, which is cool. Uh, but it's it's not trying to be a party game. It's not trying to be, uh, you know, it's a game that was developed by three people, and it shows that. You know, it's a team that was constrained on both budget and time, and did something that the, with did something with what they knew, and they focused on a narrower set of core mechanics, but that they were also mechanics that were unique and different, and they made something pretty neat within those i think you know they didn't have to worry about oh what story are we going to do in this like even the rock band games try to tell a story of some kind right this really has no story it's like hey you're on this alien world you're a spaceship you're killing other people with your spaceship just because why the heck not right that's kind of all uh, all that's kind of all it was about and that's fine you know simple is better in many cases i i think there's another one right at the start there but you can see every level is quite a bit different. There are definitely different types of enemies, though some enemies only do appear... Well, that was unfortunate. Some enemies, unfortunately, do only tend to appear like... Boy, I'm failing this one big time. Uh, some enemies do tend to appear only once or twice in the whole... Wow. Uh, in the whole game, which is kind of a bummer. It would have been nice to see them... Uh, the certain enemies maybe get used a little bit more than they do. Uh, I think that would have been, been kind of nice. Uh, but the leaderboard functionality is pretty robust and solid. Uh, you know, it, the leaderboards work well. Uh, oh my god, I am... Wow. This wasn't that bad in the other mode, but boy, am I bombing this one. Ah, you bugger. God. For real? Nope. Okay. <laughs> So you sort of see what we're talking about here, but uh, and I'll give you an example. Uh, where's one of the bosses here? Yeah, here's one. Here's the first boss. It's this interesting kind of sandworm thing, but uh, 
Yeah, I, I've really been in, been having fun with this. You know, it, it's not the world's most complex rhythm game, but what it does, it does fairly well. It, it focuses on, you know, I, I'm very much a mechanics first gamer, and that's what this game entirely is. There is no, there is no story to it. They just took this interesting, you know, spaceship on a weird alien planet framework just because they thought it would make cool looking levels, right? So here we got to take out a few normal enemies and then he'll reappear. There he is. Oh, dang. Yeah, this on advanced is quite something. Uh, even on normal, this is rather tricky. Uh, I think it took me three or four tries to actually beat the boss the first time I did this level, and the last boss took me quite a bit longer than that, but I like the fact that every level is is different and handcrafted. Uh, you know, they're, they're, it, it doesn't try to randomly generate things. I mean, yeah, that might give some more replayability, but I don't think that's really explicitly necessary. So, uh, but yeah, this, this has been a good time. Uh, you know, you gotta like the genre of music it's going for, obviously, but uh, I, I think it does suit very well. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to play. I mean, obviously, you got to have a controller on your PC if you want to be able to play this, which might turn some people off, though most PC players I know at least have a controller lying around these days. It's, it's pretty commonplace, I would say. So, uh, and yeah, if, especially if you're a, a, a player who likes arcade-style mechanics and score attack, the leaderboards are very nicely implemented on here, as best as I can tell. The top of the leaderboard are some savant level players, but they it doesn't seem to be dominated by, you know, cheat engine douchebags, which is nice. Uh, yeah, and if, if you're someone who really likes rhythm games, especially on the PC where we have been, frankly, a little bit... I mean, we've frankly been starved for this genre everywhere, but in particular on the PC, then you've got an option right here, and it's only 15 bucks. It's, it's, uh, and I think it's a pretty good package for what they, they include in it. It's a good challenge, a good variety of levels, unique mechanics... Um, some good high energy music and uh, nice replayability if you're gonna be if you're gonna be into that. So uh, yeah, that is Arrow, developed by Mad Fellows Games uh, in and uh, published by Reverb XXXP in 2017. Uh, it is available on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. This is the PC version, though I believe this looks and runs pretty much the same on all three. So I don't think you're gonna have any worries there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer that this hasn't sold better, but if you're someone like me who really likes rhythm games and sort of wants to support the cause, if you will, then uh, I think this is uh, this is well worth your time to check out. I've been uh, I've been really enjoying it, and uh, it would be nice to see more stuff like this get made, especially out of the indie community. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That does help me out a great deal. If you want to watch something else, check out the videos on screen now. And don't forget to follow at PXA Media on Twitter to find out about new stuff first.